A new set photo from Guillermo del Toro's Frankenstein gives us a glimpse of Oscar Isaac in action as Victor Frankenstein. Mary Shelley's novel has been adapted countless times, from classic silent films to modern twists like Lisa Frankenstein. Now, del Toro is putting his own spin on the timeless story, taking on writing, directing and producing duties for this latest adaptation. Guillermo del Toro is undeniably one of the most celebrated directors today, known for weaving fantasy and darkness into cinematic masterpieces. From the hauntingly beautiful Pan's Labyrinth to the Oscar-winning The Shape of Water, his films always leave a lasting impact. His recent take on Pinocchio offered a unique and refreshing spin on a classic tale, showcasing his ability to breathe new life into familiar stories. With that in mind, the excitement around his upcoming Frankenstein remake is absolutely justified. It's bound to be another unforgettable addition to his already impressive filmography. The much-anticipated movie is currently being filmed in the UK, and fans of the Star Wars actor are already buzzing about his look. Del Toro has put together an amazing cast for his Frankenstein movie. We've got Jacob E. Lordi as Frankenstein's monster, Oscar Isaac as Victor Frankenstein, and Mia Goth. Then there's Christoph Waltz. Yeah, the guys who's won an Oscar for playing both a racist and an anti-racist. Lars Mikkelsen, Charles Dance, Ralph Ineson, and more. I noticed Felix Kammerer has been cast as William. He's about to turn 29, which is interesting, since William is a little kid in the book. Definitely a big change from the original story. The project, which is expected to be a Netflix exclusive, originally starred Andrew Garfield as the monster before the actor was forced to pull out due to scheduling conflicts caused by last year's Hollywood strikes. Plot details are still unknown, but we do know Del Toro co-wrote the screenplay with J. Miles Dale, who also worked as a producer on Cabinet of Curiosities, another must-watch for Del Toro fans on Netflix. Del Toro has been working for nearly 20 years to bring his vision of Frankenstein to life, often sharing his passion for reimagining Mary Shelley's iconic novel. In case you need a refresher, the story follows Victor Frankenstein, a genius but arrogant scientist whose experiment to create life ends in disaster, leading to the downfall of both him and his tragic creation. We now have our first look at Oscar Isaac on set as Victor Frankenstein. As expected, it's a period piece and will be brought to life in Guillermo del Toro's signature style. Check out some photos from the Frankenstein set from a Reddit post here. This new set photo from Frankenstein shows Oscar Isaac in the lead role as Victor Frankenstein. In these shots, Isaac is clean-shaven with curly hair and sideburns, rocking a period-appropriate look with a top hat and pinstripe suit. Crew members surround him, seemingly getting ready for a take. The scene has a misty vibe, likely thanks to a smoke machine adding some atmospheric drama. A lot of people are having fun with this look, saying Oscar Isaac resembles a gangster. Van Helsing, or even someone about to bust a moonwalk. But hey, let's not forget that 18th century fashion had its fair share of frills and flair, it's just part of the vibe. I would admit that this look for Victor isn't really how I pictured him, but I'm a big fan of Del Toro, so I'm trusting him to deliver a great Frankenstein adaptation. And when you factor in that, it's set during the time of the novel, early Victorian era, so the outfit definitely fits that also. Overall, the set photo hints that Guillermo del Toro's Frankenstein will stay true to the book's time period. Mary Shelley's novella was written in 1800s, but is set in late 1700s, and Oscar Isaac's pinstripe suit and top hat fit perfectly with that era. This approach sets del Toro's adaptation apart from recent versions that often tweak the plot or update its timeline. This project feels like the perfect fit for del Toro's style, just look at how sharp Isaac looks in his period costume. It's reminiscent of the detailed world-building in Nightmare Alley. Plus, Del Toro's recent Pinocchio showed his talent for staying true to source material while giving it his unique flair. If he can bring those same strengths to Frankenstein, this could be something truly special. If you didn't know, Christian Bale will also be playing Frankenstein's monster in The Bride, which is also set to release in 2025. Directed by Maggie Gyllenhaal, this movie seems to center around the iconic Bride of Frankenstein, a character introduced in Mary Shelley's 1818 novel. Jessie Buckley will star as the Bride, making her Bale's co-star in this intriguing project. The movie appears to dive deeper into the story than what you'd expect from a typical franchise launch, 
especially if the plan is to kickstart a new Frankenstein series. Maggie Gyllenhaal has shared a first look at Christian Bale and Jesse Buckley in character on her Instagram, giving us a glimpse of how they'll appear in The Bride. Bale definitely nails the classic look of Frankenstein's monster, while Buckley's bride seems to have been given a bit of a modern twist compared to the traditional portrayal. Still, she fits perfectly into the Frankenstein universe. It'll be interesting to see how the production shapes up and how the story and characters stack up against the original material and previous adaptations over the years. It's interesting that Christian Bale and Jacob E. Lordy are both stepping into the shoes of Frankenstein's monster in the year, but their performances are bound to be very different. The tone of each film will definitely shape how each actor approaches the character. Maggie Gyllenhaal, with less directing experience than Guillermo del Toro, will likely bring a very different style to her Frankenstein movie. While Gyllenhaal's background is mainly in acting, del Toro has a wealth of experience behind the camera, so their directing approaches will certainly contrast. What's interesting is that both Bale and E. Lordy are more accustomed to playing human roles, not monstrous creations like Shelley's character. However, Bale's performance as Gore in Thor Love and Thunder could give him an edge, as he's already tackled a more offbeat, villainous character. Elordi, on the other hand, doesn't have much experience with this type of role, so he'll need to tap into different aspects of his skill set to bring the monster to life. I think he's definitely going to pull it off. From everything we've seen and heard, the movie looks fantastic, and I completely trust Guillermo's casting and his passion for the project. Mia Goth recently shared how amazing it's been working on the movie, saying, It's everything I wanted it to be and more. I love Guillermo. I love working with him. He's an incredible director, as everyone knows, but he's also such a wonderful person. I'm really excited. Del Toro himself has said, This is a movie I've wanted to make for 50 years, ever since I saw the first Frankenstein. I had an epiphany, and it's a film that needed a lot of growth and tools that I didn't have 10 years ago. Now, I'm brave, or crazy enough, and we're going for it. I dream I can make the greatest Frankenstein ever, but then if you make it, you've made it. Whether it's great or not, it's done. You cannot dream about it anymore. That's the tragedy of a filmmaker, he continued. You can dream of something, but once you've made it, you've made it. That's it. You landed a 10, or you landed a 6.5, but you were at the Olympics already, and you were judged. Frankenstein doesn't have a confirmed release date yet, but we know it will be available on Netflix. The film features cinematography by Down Lawson and music by Alexander Desplat. Beside Guillermo del Toro, it's been produced by Gary Unger and J. Miles Dale. Well, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this and other exciting upcoming movies. We'll see you next time.